Hey, Cider Crusaders, America is the greatest country in the world. Welcome to our special Exposed the Black Lives Matter Hypocrisy. We're going to start off in just a few minutes here talking with Larry Elder and get his insight. Uh, the foundation, or Black Lives Matter is built on top of this foundation of systemic racism. That racism is invisible and it's everywhere. And I just want to take a couple minutes here to tell you that there is no such thing as systemic racism. Stop feeling guilty. It doesn't exist. Black Lives Matter activists are manipulating you and your emotions to try and control you. And I want to prove it doesn't exist with an analogy from the great James Lindsay at NewDiscourses.com. So imagine you and your friend are walking down the sidewalk. And you trip on a, a broken bottle that you didn't notice in front of you. And you fall into your friend. And then your friend trips and falls into the street and gets hit by a speeding car and kills your friend. Jeez, like, just go with me here. Who's at fault? Who's at fault in that scenario? Who bears the moral responsibility for your friend's death? Now, this is a really interesting ethical question. You could blame yourself very easily, right? You're the one who tripped and fell. But also, maybe your friend needed to be paying more attention. And... Honestly, you, you wanted to turn right, and it was your friend who wanted to turn left down this street. And your friend was late, and if your friend was early on time, maybe you would have been, there wouldn't have been a bottle there broken in the first place, and you wouldn't have tripped. But then also, who threw the bottle out the window and onto the sidewalk to begin with? It's got to be his fault too, right? That's the reason you tripped. And it turns out that the kid who did that was 17, under the legal drinking age. So how did he get that bottle of liquor? So it must be the liquor store's fault for selling it to him. And also, the driver's got to be to blame, right? She was speeding down the street, but why was she speeding? Well, it was the school nurse who called her and told her to pick up her son, and that call was way, way too urgent. To, it was just a stomach ache. There was no need to rush to school, no need to scare the mom and get her driving faster than, this, than she otherwise would have. So you see how I mean, you can do this all day if you decide to play the blame game. Sometimes it can be difficult to place moral responsibility in a, in a situation like this, especially in a situation where a judge would probably say, no fault. It was, just, it was a no-fault accident. Here's the deal, though. If you're not happy with that answer, and if you choose to wallow in your aggrievement, then you don't just chalk it up as an accident. You don't claim that no one's responsible, that no one's at fault. You claim that everyone is at fault. And you blame everyone, everywhere, all the time. This is white studies. You take an aggrieved person, for any number of reasons, who has zero personal responsibility for anything ever. The opposite of personal responsibility is not, oh, it's not my fault, it's his fault. That's not the opposite of personal responsibility. The opposite of personal responsibility is, it's everyone's fault. <laughs> it's not my fault, it's everyone's. Now that's absurd, but the clever trick that the left came up with to, to be able to do that without sounding like an absolute psycho is the system. It's the system's fault, the fault, the blame, the racism, it's, it's systemic. So in this case, this made up analogy here, the made, made up story, there wouldn't have been a bottle there if we didn't live in an, in an entire society that supports the, the sale and consumption of alcohol. If we didn't live in a society that enables teenage recklessness or that doesn't have a local government that invests enough in, uh, in sidewalk cleaning and, and other government, right? If we didn't live in a system where people profited off of alcohol consumption, so it's capitalism's fault. And not only is it capitalism's fault, it's, it's everyone who takes part in capitalism. Everyone's to blame, we're all complicit. If you benefit from capitalism in any way whatsoever, you're just upholding this system of capitalism that led to alcohol uh, consumption for profit, that led to a 17-year-old drinking alcohol, that led to him throwing the bottle out the, out the window, onto the sidewalk, that led you to trip that killed your friend. It's everyone's fault. We're all complicit. The company that made the car that that woman was driving, and they profited it off of that person driving. But we also have a culture that's built around the car. Thanks a lot, capitalism. But even more than that, it's even the system we have that allows for the freedom of movement as opposed to mass transportation. That's to blame. Freedom's to blame. See how this goes? Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.